Jacob, what's up? Um, all right, so we're on Thursday of week four. Um, I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, we did a little stretch with Brazen Crew earlier. Uh, Jacob worked out with, um, I think this morning. Did I see you this morning? I can't remember when I see you guys. Um, but I wanted to do a little gratitude meditation tonight. And I've been actually talking about this just in my classes. Okay, we'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk about this, please. <laughs> um, I'm just going to hire Greg to uh, help. Anyway, um, I've been talking about it a lot in my classes. I don't know if you saw what I posted uh, from David Goggins, who's like total badass, right? Um, just about gratitude. And um, it's obviously a rough time for everyone here. Um, but I think it's important to take a second to, when we do complain about something, think about what we're complaining about. Um, hi, Steiner. You know, the gym's closed. Yeah, it sucks. We can't go to the gym. You know, first thing I think of, because that's just my business. But, you know, we're we're here and we're healthy and we're alive and we're not in the hospital. And thank God nobody I know is in the hospital. And nobody that I know has anyone that they love in the hospital, you know? So just, I think it was when we get mad that we can't go anywhere and when there's a line at Trader Joe's and you know, it's a beautiful day and we can't go to the park, just really thinking about what we do have. And I think it's easy to think about all the things that we're missing out on right now. And it's, it's harder to think about how much we do have, right? So this is a good opportunity for everyone to just be grateful for just a lot of little things that you do have in your life. So this is just meditation is just gonna be based on that, um, finding gratitude in what you do have. And if we can do that now, it will bring us a lot more peace, right? It'll relieve a lot more stress because if we're always mad about what we don't have, we're never gonna be happy with what we have. So today's gonna to be focusing on just being grateful for a few things. So I'll walk you through everything. Oh, home season in the house. Okay, so we're gonna start in a, we're gonna be in a seated position today. If you haven't joined me yet, I recommend propping yourself up on a pillow, uh, propping your seat up on a pillow, uh, like a more firm pillow, or even like a blanket or a towel rolled up, crossing the legs in front of you, or coming to a kneeling position. Right, and again, I recommend propping the seat a little bit. If you are really uncomfortable sitting on the ground, which is actually a pretty common thing, I want you to sit on a chair or sit on the edge of your couch, right? But I want you to come to a position where you can sit up nice and tall. So take a couple seconds and adjust your seat and, you know, move from side to side and just feel that you're nice and evenly placed on whatever you're sitting on. Your sit bones are nice and even. And rest the palms gently on the thighs, nice soft bend to the elbow. And we'll start with a couple of cleansing breaths here. So take a big inhale through the nose, open the mouth and sigh it out. Don't be afraid to make some noise. Inhale through the nose, open the mouth, big sigh out. One more just like that, inhale through the nose, open the mouth. And then just allow your breath to return or to come to its natural rhythm. So without controlling it, without forcing it. But notice your inhales and your exhales. So notice the shifts in your body, particularly the belly and the ribs, as you breathe in, as you breathe out. And as you find length to the spine, Find a little bit more ease to your seat. So relax your body a little bit. Still, still sit tall, but relax. Soften the face. Tuck the chin just a touch and try to find a little more space to the back of the neck. And when you first hear the word gratitude, Think about any feelings that might arise. What does that word mean to you? Gratefulness, being grateful. And then taking a second to be grateful just where you're sitting. We're 
all in a room that's in an apartment or a condo or a house. We have shelter, we have heat, we have food. Being grateful for the little things that just keep us alive on a daily basis. Running water. So just think about anything in your house that you're grateful for. Could be the smallest thing. And then start to about, think about any people who live with you, anybody in your house, are you grateful for them? And if there's no one directly in your house, your immediate family and friends, so think about the people in your life that you are grateful to have. And as you go through them, picture their face, say their name in your mind. Maybe there's some animals or pets that you are grateful for. So bring those to mind as well. And then think about any particular objects in your house that you're grateful for. Maybe a certain room in your house or maybe your backyard. And then start to think a little further out. So the street and the neighborhood surrounding you and the town that you live in. What comes to mind when I ask you what you are grateful for in the town that you live in? And then going even further, thinking about the state you live in, the country that you live in. So what makes you grateful about that? Again, it could be something very simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. And then think about feelings that make you grateful. So all those things we just thought about, what kind of feelings do they bring up? Happiness, peacefulness, calm, joy, love. Think about all those emotions that your favorite things you just thought of bring up. And allow yourself to be grateful, to be able to feel those emotions, to be able to have things in your life that bring you guys those emotions. and sitting with an overabundance of gratitude the next few moments, thinking of all the things you're surrounded with, the people, the animals, the feelings. And for the next few moments, if your mind starts to wander, just bring to mind one of those things you thought about in the past couple minutes and focus on what brings you gratitude.
this feeling of gratitude stay with you, not just through the night, but through the next days, the next weeks, next month. When you're ready, gently blink your eyes open. And thank you guys for sitting with me this evening. I hope you have a good night. And I will talk to you soon.